Good morning, friends. <laughs> Reese just made us some delicious hot coffees, and we are parked up at probably I would say one of the most beautiful free camps we've ever stayed at. We're like right on the water, under the trees. On the North Island. On the North Island. It's stunning. So we thought, what better place um, than this to do a little van tour? We are finally at a point where we feel like our new tiny home on wheels is finished. Very close, finished. Oh, yeah. Very close. It will never be finished, but finished yeah. Enough. And we are so happy with it. So in love with it. Um, and yeah, so excited to share it with you. So a bit of a backstory. Um, if you haven't been following our journey on here, we for the last three years travelled around Australia in our self-converted. Home on Wheels Oki, um, who was an absolute dream. We absolutely loved that van and we just had the best three years of our lives <laughs> traveling around Australia. We just kind of hit a point where we were like, really the next step for us really feels like doing that in New Zealand. Then one day Reese was scrolling on Marketplace on Facebook and this van popped up and he was like, no way, our dream van in our dream country. And we just kind of thought like, man, we can't say no to this, this is too aligned. So we bought it sight unseen. Within six months of buying it, we flew over here, we flew Finney over here and started a brand new journey in New Zealand. <laughs> the van is a Mercedes-Benz 1993 T1 and it is a 310D model. <laughs> Absolutely no aerodynamic. Yeah. Very slow. Yeah. Um, but she gets us where we want to go. But yeah, let's take a look inside. Alrighty, so this is our front cab area. Um, it's pretty basic, but I think it's super cute. I love the old big steering wheel. Um, and we got these beautiful seat covers from a company called Roaming Folk. Keep our bin down here, water bottles. Reese built more storage um, in this little box here. We've got heaps of storage space above in the cab as well. And we were originally thinking about building like an overhead storage um, compartment which we didn't end up needing at the time but we're thinking that we may do that down the track. Yeah, that's the front cab. So this is our little home. <laughs> Obviously the first thing you see when you come through the door is our kitchen space and this big storage box. Now we have a toilet in here and then heaps of storage in this other compartment. And yeah, this is our little kitchen. We have our tap and our basin. We have a double burner gas stove top. This is by Medea. And the star of the show is our Iceco fridge. This is an 85 litre um, upright fridge. It has heaps of space. Having a fridge like this is such a luxury and makes the whole kitchen space feel so much more functional. Um, it's been really power efficient. We don't have as much power in this van, so we really needed a fridge that was gonna get the job done without sucking all the power up. <laughs> as for power, we have a 120 AGM battery and 300 watts of solar on the roof. We also have a DC to DC um, charger, so while we're driving, it's charging the battery up. We actually built this bench top ourselves out of some scrap wood that we found on the property where we converted the van. Then this shelf is my pride and joy in the van. It's got my trinkets, <laughs> my herbs and spices. Kept this space open so you can go straight through to the cab. Uh, one, it's just super convenient to be able to reach in and out of the cab and if it's raining to be able to get through. And two, it also just lets a nice amount of light in and I feel like it's kept the space feeling quite open and airy. So over the side of the van is our lounge slash bed space. We originally thought that we would um, turn this into a fixed bed because we really enjoyed that in our last build. But after spending a few weeks living with it like this, we realized how nice it is to have the extra space during the day to have like a lounge area. I can kind of be sitting over here working and recently in the kitchen and it feels like there's like a decent amount of space. <laughs> so yeah, for now we've kept it as it is and we'll maybe reconsider down the track but so far we're really loving yeah, the non-fixed bed. It's super easy to set up at night. We've got a few planks of wood that we slide out into this area and then these two mattresses join up. And yeah, it literally takes a minute for us to make the bed. So The other thing that we added was these storage compartments. 
So in this one, I've got all of my clothes. It's a bit of a mess, don't look too closely. <laughs> And then in this one, Reese has got all his clothes. Quite deep, so there is actually a fair bit of storage in there. And then we have our 12 volt and our 240 volt plugs here. Um, our inverter is just stored behind the front seat in the cab. Under here is a whole heap of storage. So we've just got like tools, camera gear, and then our camping gear in there. Under the bed, we have three big, beautiful storage drawers. So this one is full to the brim of our winter gear because we are going to spend the winter in Queenstown and it's going to be cold, so that's essential. <laughs> also full to the brim, but that's more of our camping gear. One of um, the biggest reasons we moved to New Zealand was we want to do more hiking and overnight treks and yeah, we made sure that there was enough room in here for all of that gear. And then the final drawer just holds all of our <laughs> essentials being our surf gear so we've just got a big box in there for our wetsuits and fins and wax and all of that um, on the topic of surfing we have two boards currently on the roof uh, again they were essential <laughs> one of our biggest hobbies and um, the thing we spend the most time doing is looking for waves and surfing up here we just have two little bookshelves. We made the shelves out of the old shelves that were originally in here. We actually tried to reuse as much of the material from the old build as we could. So we weren't, um, you know, just buying new things and making a little waste. And <laughs> I got bored one day and made this little flower arrangement. Eventually I want to have it completely full of flowers so it's covering that top bit. Yeah, we also made all of these curtains. Um, it didn't have any curtains in here when we got it, so we felt like we were kind of in an aquarium because the windows aren't tinted, so you can see everything in here. Yeah, so the final thing is probably our fresh water. It's stored under here. You just lift the mattress up um, and we've got 40 litres of fresh water under there, which is half of what we had in our old build, but it's all we had room for for now. Um, later on, we might you know, put a tank under the van, but for now, this has worked really well super simple to refill and it lasts us about three days if we're being a little bit careful and then we also installed a fan in the roof um, just to help with airflow um, and that's a Fiamma fan it was literally the only option we could find <laughs> we had a bit of trouble finding things in New Zealand like the options here are very limited and it's very expensive to get things shipped over so if you're thinking about doing something similar to this just be aware of that other than that, I think that is the van. <laughs> Most nights we'll just make the bed, make teas, read our books, or watch a movie. Um, yeah, that is it really. Thank you for joining us for our little van tour. We hope it gave you some inspo and ideas, and we're super excited to take you along on all of our adventures in beautiful New Zealand.